I would say seize whatever opportunities advantage that you have at your own institution first. Um, take whatever opportunities are available to you. Most important to do that is to get a good mentor. Um, someone that you can watch do what he or she does on a daily basis. A chairman, section head, or even just a faculty member that you bond with. You can recognize a good leader when you see it, follow their instincts, and, and to some degree learn the traits from them. And then look at the organizational uh, uh, opportunities that are available to you such as committees or those types of structures and learn how to function within them and I think th those are probably the easiest things that anyone can do because most of those resources are available to them at their institutions I think urologists does tend to be more personable. I think uh, we relate well to uh, patients. We've already had a lot of conversations with patients that sometimes are difficult. We know how to have those conversations. But we also relate very well to our colleagues and to each other. And so the personality of urologists, I think, are very well suited for that. And I also say the experience that a urologist has clinically is extremely well suited for that because it takes us across a lot of different areas of healthcare, inpatient, outpatient, hospital, and we have a lot of encounters there.